Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, Shumla Didi. Namaste, all. Welcome to the morning session. So, we start with Mohanji sharing. Namaste, Mohan Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Sunilji. Namaste. 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 So, I will briefly put your introduction and you can uh, place your sharing, Bhaiya. Yeah. So, uh, Bhaiya, as we all know, Mohan Balram Rauji. Uh, currently, he is an advisor of SIWS Group of Institutions, Mumbai, and consultant of consultant to National Singh Hua University and Government of Taiwan. He did his USB introductory in May 2020 and refresher one part one uh, in December 2020. He has been working as a regional coordinator for Western region from July 2021 for various activities in WR. Uh, at Pan India level, uh, he was instrumental in developing help desk function and PPI for online FDPs. Since October 2022, he is very closely associated with self-organized, uh, with uh, organizing self-funded FDPs. And since January 2022, managing and organizing student development workshops in English for every in every alternate month. So Mohan Birabuji is more than this uh, introduction. He will uh, put his details uh, in his sharing. Welcome Mohan Birabuji for your sharing. Namaste. Over to you. Thank you. Hey, namaste, Surabhad, dear UHP family members. Thanks, Sunil Kumarji, for your kind words. And get back to my introduction towards the end of my sharing. Right at the outset, my deepest gratitude to Ganesh sir, Raju sir, Shamila madam, Kumar sir, and more importantly, Umesh Jadav sir and Jitinder sir, who were the first ones to expose me to universal human values in May 2020 to the online FDP. In fact, Umesh sir has been hugely instrumental in my unlearning in a very gradual fashion of what I have been doing for so many years and gently making me relearn and putting things to practice. I found Umesh sir very hugely tolerant and kind to me. He made me feel and realize how connected we are. Telepathy to be simple. In fact, yesterday evening, he called up in some other context. But for me, there was a telepathy call as to how I need to present. and give me some inputs how I need to share today with all of you. Prior to 2020, I was a very fun-loving, task-oriented person. But now, truly a happy person, connected to a, such a large UHP family, which I saw growing over the last three years, much beyond my imagination. The last I shared with all of you was a year back. Yesterday morning, when Anand Damaniji was presenting his sharing, I decided I must share too, as it will largely help me to get more clarity and motivate explorers who are on the cliff to embrace UHV. First, I deal with the aspect of prosperity, which has been constantly dealt with in UHV. So as regards prosperity, I really thank uh, my family background and upbringing. I have always shared what I get with everyone around me. I remember my first salary, I gave it to my grandparents. I feel, uh, first grandparents, and I feel I'm lucky and blessed to be in a family where they all strongly believe, whether it is my own family, my own parentage, or my in-laws, on the in-laws side, both the families, they are very strongly believe in connectedness, doing more than one what, what, what one gets, and work for the happiness at all the four levels. I truly understood what is the society, what is the uh, nature, what are animals, or the ecosystem around us very early in my life. There are numerous instances, both in personal and business life of mine. Before uh, I got into education 2002, I was the I was in, in business in uh, in a function uh, in companies, and more than getting wealth for myself, I uh, the getting wealth for myself was the last priority. UHV has made me largely aware about this. I feel I'm truly blessed being on this planet with this sanskar. 
you'll all be happy to know that the assets of my family and I have been, have been hugely useful to our family and society. We never made assets for creation of physical facilities, but for something which is required, but that is useful to all of us. So these were very strongly embedded in my upbringing and what I am today. But somehow I'm not able to understand why I still work on impulse and instant, instantaneous decision for anything and everything I do. For this, I owe it to the Almighty and Mother, for the huge support and energy they give me. Thanks to UHV, all obstacles have been stepping stones for better things in life ahead. As for me, life is all about how committed and how, and how connected I am. The change in me to becoming happy and in harmony has come from the morning meetings, all eight of them. Every batch of the morning meetings has helped me in the slow transformation to realize that I'm fully responsible for all that happens around me. I remember how agitated I was with the feeling of mistrust, fear, etc. You know, as many other things and kind of questions I posed during batch 5 and 6, if I remember right, I guess Shamila Madam will know better. But I used to knock at the door of Uminster and post questions to Shamila Madam and got the same answers, that is to work on self-awareness and observe the feeling. Since this sharing of mine is related to how well I did exercise 1 and 2, at this time, my sharing is will uh, give you some reflection on exercise 1 and 2. As far as exercise 1 is concerned, I'm constantly at step one and two and happily reach step three quite fast in different situations as feeling of relationship and connectedness is naturally acceptable to me. And over the last one year or so, I felt that it is I who decide the feeling and no one else. And I strongly feel so at every instance, every point of time, however microscopic it is. In fact, I used to spend awful amount of time brooding on some incidents only to realize much later that I wasted and I need to work on improving awareness within myself and remain in harmony. By remain, I don't mean compulsion, but be in harmony. I guess that this is step seven of exercise one. Many times in the day, I deep dive when I watch nature around and feel they are talking to me. I don't know what how to express this, but it is something where I get completely lost and I don't understand how time has gone. I feel hugely connected to everything around me and I feel whether it's the trees, the animals, or the birds, or even the stars around. I still get up in the morning to watch the star the one which comes to the sunrise. And I feel that it's all, they're all speaking to me. And this feeling has grossly increased after I've been connected to USB. As regards exercise two, I constantly and consciously observe that both self and body are governed by the self itself. And, and I've been able to smoothly handle various challenges which I had like anger, overeating, reacting, defending my decision, shouting at others, and all those things which I do very recently, about a year or so in the past before. In the past, in the past, nine out of ten times I will be reacting and remain hugely disturbed for a long amount of time. And later realizing that the world is not bothered about what I feel, but I need to bother about myself. Now, of course, over the last, I think, six to six months to eight months, I respond to eight of the ten incidents that happen around me. And the other two cases, I've, I've become aware of reasons of reactive behavior and explore the level of understanding and relationship to see that in future I respond and not react. Just a couple of uh, weeks back, I was I shouted at my driver whatever happened. He did, of course, mistakes, right? But quickly I realized what I was doing is not useful, neither to me, nor to him. So I apologized to him. He was stunned. 
in the sense, he did not say why you apologize, but he got stunned. But I, but I, but I explained to him that I need to be careful with my words and I should be careful with my feelings. But I think I've never done that before. I'm consciously devoting time to doing prayers, of course, attending morning meetings in the morning. And I'm doing prayers twice a day. I do Srinaskar every morning. I walk for over an hour and spend time with my family. And this has been uh, pointed out by my family also that you are coming and spending time with us, you're eating with us, whatever, in terms of moving on. I was a foodie until 2021, overeating and consuming all kinds of food. I don't know how many of you believe, but I was in excess of 93 kgs. Now I'm, now I'm around 83 kgs. The last couple of years, thanks to USB health sessions on Fridays, there's also suggestions of my wife and daughters. I follow a very good diet, nutritious and regulated. I make best efforts to avoid outside food. I don't force myself in any of these habits. Okay, it's just if somebody offers me food, I say no, I would put your time to have it. Thank you so much. I'll I'll help you enjoy it. That's how I, that's how I see that they don't feel embarrassed. I don't take food along with them. But I control my diet in a very happy manner. There's a lot to be done for which I am consciously working to become responsive and minimize reactive behavior. So in terms of you know uh, uh, both exercise one and two, I am consciously working to become responsive and, and minimize reactive behavior. Now coming to my roles, I did introduce myself in the beginning. Uh, of course, Sujit Kumarji was kind enough that I'm working as a regional coordinator, plus I work as an advisor to SIWS group institutions. But let me, in all humility, express that UHP has hugely expanded my potential and compared to the past. I'm able to do several critical assignments and roles smoothly without any conflict or tensions. Prior 2020, I was doing two to three roles in different uh, different ways. But post May 2020, I really find hard to believe, but it's happening. I'm currently involved in eight different roles and jobs. It's not a question of, uh, you know, trying to tell you what positions I have, but I would like to express the position that I'm managing simultaneously. I'm a regional coordinator for, uh, uh, for NGCIP which I do on a pro bono basis. I'm also the chairman of the CI Western Region of Education Task Force, which I do on a pro bono basis. I'm also the uh, 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 member of the incubation cell of Jane International Trade Organization. I don't know how many of you have heard of it. I do on a pro bono basis. I'm also on the panel of uh, top IAS officials who uh, interview uh, who interview the students who clear the UPSC exam and who become uh, the IAS officers in the last couple of years, right? And I am also uh, the uh, youth advisor, young advisor to CII for the youth. How do I do all this? How does it happen? Every, almost, but it, it goes on, right? And apart from uh, being in education, being advisor to the SIW group institutions and handling the challenges of expansion, Right. I'm also happy to tell you the SIWS is part of UGC, but a number of students have, re have registered for student development workshop and around 12 or 10 or 12 of them got certificates. They're from backgrounds which are very challenged. Right, Many of them, 70% of the students, uh, you can't imagine, belong to uh, families who can, you know, can't, don't think of education. They're maid servants, taxi drivers, they're laborers, their sons and daughters. I still remember the girl Pooja Yadav, I'm sure Sunil Kumar Ji and all will remember, who asked such challenging questions uh, six to eight months back in, in, the, in the student development program that she topped the university with 86% in economics. And she called the certificate also. So, in, so you, you'll be all happy to know that I've been able to complete all the tasks on time and to satisfaction to all concerns. So whatever roles I do, I'm able to complete the tasks and keep everybody happy. But what's the secret to that? There's no secret. It's just about right understanding, the fact of relationship, and understanding that we're all connected. This, the, the sessions of the morning meetings, the weekly meeting which happen, 
all that I've been able to internalize and understand the usefulness of right understanding to me, the usefulness of relationship factors to me, and the fact that see, my sanskar always believed that we're all connected. So how to interlink these two, all the active things together and give a seamless moon route to the world around me and see that I'm useful to the world around me. I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, praise myself, but I feel that UHP has done that slow transformation change, which is not a question I looked for, but it has happened. So in all, all the, I've been able to see the expectation of everybody in whatever I do, but the, this I owe it deeply to uh, UHP and of course my family and sanskar. Relationship, right understanding of relationship has helped me to develop people in my team who can take on the roles in my absence and perform the tasks. For USB activities handled by me for the last two, three years, many of them, I have developed several volunteers to take up managing and organizing activities, which were closely handled by me in the past. And now they do it on their own. And they only consult me uh, at times for wherever changes are required or where, where I can uh, guide them as a mentor. So this has, uh, you know, uh, what would we call big words in management, succession planning and all that. But I think that's a part of team spirit. In most of the meetings that I conduct in USV, I've always been mentioning that I am a management student, I'm a management uh, teacher and professional, but I never understood team spirit the way I have understood team spirit in UHV, it's it's the sense of uh, you know it's not able to express it so well, I'm bound by some feelings. But I think team spirit is best understood when we volunteer as volunteers for UHV, right? All of us want to become leaders. All of us want to lead a team, but some of us can't do it. But that's where UHV comes in and guides us as to how to use the fact of relationship how to use the factor of right understanding, see the tasks are completed, expand your roles and, it move, and move on in life. So I think in all in all, it's a very useful. Well, let's go to the other side of Mohan Rao. Let me admit that I'm a very, very hard task master who excels in micromanagement. And I'm a true Virgo. I'm 19 September, a perfectionist. I, for one, know that I'm a very difficult person to work with. Whatever be the task, deadlines have to be met. In fact, a couple of weeks back, a couple of, I think last week, I posed a question to Shamila Madam about objective setting when Prashant Bhaiya uh, was talking about his uh, meeting Raju sir and Ganesh sir. So I'm, somehow it's part of my, you know, the way I work, right? I'm a, I'm a very good chaser of people and see that come what may the job is assigned is done. Now, over the last one year, all this of casing, getting the work done, I do with a sense of relationship, right? Not just the task, but but kindly, but constantly remind uh, my teammate or team member that his role is as important as mine, and his completion of role will facilitate the task to be done much earlier. So it's all done through relationship mode. Where I cannot do the job, and if I fail more than once, I ensure someone more competent handles the function or task. I have no qualms in admitting that I have failed. Let the right guy do it. All this is thanks to UHV because this has become easier now and is seamlessly addressed. Right? If I make a mistake, I admit it. I used to do it before. Right? But now it is naturally comes to me. It's not something which is to, you know, just to keep the world happy or whatever. Right? I hope I am able to communicate what I said. Now comes really the funny part of my presentation. When you say that what's in a name, must have heard recently, Naam mein kya hai? I feel that all names have something assigned to be done in the life of the individual. I think each of you can introspect that. So my name is Mohan Balaram Rao. In short, MBR. What it means for me is managing my results. It makes me naturally committed, hardworking, goal-oriented, doer and ability to take on multiple roles and work on a continuing basis. As a consequence, I never get a moment to myself to reflect on my accomplishments. I'm really 
really mean it actually, but feel energetic to address the new challenges as they come. I have never in never ever in my life said no to anybody. Right? So it's implicit in the name itself. If I it's not because I'm talking about just convincing myself the word Mohan, the word Valram, the word Rao, all have something a task assigned for you, right? You are named for some task. So I think uh, one has to reflect on one's own name and not but <laughs> they're just trying to give the other lighter side of it. I'm not sure if I've addressed all the pointers of sharing, Sunil Kumarji. I hope I've addressed all that. I'm hugely committed to UHV. I said, no, that my contribution will help make a better Bharat and Sansar in the future. I'm happy to share that when my wife Radhika and my family met Taraprasana ji and Jena ji in, in Bhubaneswar, Aparita ji, Yashwan ji, Ila ji, Rushal uh, ji and Kavita ji in Mumbai recently, they were hugely pleased and agreed that Mohan is a permanent member of yet another family, the USB family. My wife and daughters were very touched with the comments made by them. So I'm, I'm, I'm sincerely grateful to all those who met my family. Thank you for very patiently listening to me. In the interest of time, I have not given my, any examples, maybe a few, but let me assure you that there are trillions of them. The trillions have happened over the last three years. So, Jai Hind, Jai UHV. Let us listen to Shamla Didi. Uh, yes, yes. Regarding yes, yes. your yeah, sharing. Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste, Mohanji. Yes. I do recall, like you asked, uh, you know, if I recall um, the earlier sharings in the beginning, I think when perhaps you were doing the exercises for the first round or even the second round, you used to ask about how to manage things when people disturb us or irritate yes. us. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. so I can see that huge shift that has already happened in this short span of time. And what I'm really amazed at is that long back in 2020, when uh, perhaps you took your first workshop, soon after that, you were already involved in volunteering very quickly. I recall that um, even then I was quite amazed. And listening to you, uh, you know, because of online, we don't meet and we don't know each other like that. We just listen on online. I would not have imagined that you are a grandfather. You just seem to be so energetic throughout your enthusiasm in doing all the activities, it was quite amazing. So I think, um, you know, that enthusiasm, that, uh, that energetic sort of uh, involvement really inspires many people like I, you know, a couple of you all have shared. I think that um, those who have worked with you closely, yeah are able to see that and get a lot from it. And so you have been a very inspirational force in all of these activities. And just by, I'm sure everybody has heard this, that, you know, what you mentioned, involvement with the organizing of the student workshops, of the face-to-face -face FTPs, these are very, very important and uh, useful activities for UHV that have sort of made it go forward in leaps and bounds. So I think, you know, your participation in UHV has been really commendable and very, very useful um, in terms of all the work that you have been able to do in this short span, I would say. Largely, I think, because you were always task-oriented and somebody has to do that also. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So doing it, with relationship, that is wonderful. I think that um, that you know you are taking care of both dimensions, not just the work orientation part, but yeah. also the relationship part with the others. So uh, wonderful to hear you, and I think it's. I'm glad that you shared because uh, this is what you know. It is all about that 
whatever we have been able to see, if we share it, we help others to see it also. And in that process, we get more clarity also. Um, in the forthcoming sessions, of course, I will also say that perhaps um, you can also discuss the steps in a little more detail. That will be also very useful, not only for your clarity, but also for the others uh, to be inspired by you. But all the best. I think your contribution, your participation is um, very, very necessary. And people like you are um, required today for the UHV work to continue as the, the scales are increasing by leaps and bounds. So all the very best to you. Best wishes. Yes. Thank you. See, I'm a true Shishya of all of yours. <laughs> I, I, I practice what you say and I truly do it. So I think in that way, um, I'm also lucky and blessed that we have you and Kanesha, everybody. I've not met you and Kanesha yet, Raju sir also. But I think it's not meeting. It's the, for sure. me, it's the implementation side. And so I have, to that extent, I'm, uh, I feel, I don't know, I want to sound, but, uh, uh, cliche, but I, for me, after I joined, honestly, bottom of the heart, I'm saying, for May 2020, I thought I'm in second life. <laughs> so that's what I is the probably the secret of that energy. You know, so very, truly, very I'm nice. very humbled with that, and I will definitely share. I didn't want to because I've got, I have totally got trillions of examples of how each of those, um, you know steps especially for a long time up to batch number six or seven i was stuck in step number three only i could never <laughs> see step seven honestly you know so but i made a i never made a conscious effort on in all humility i'm saying it all happens the way one you know as i as i keep saying it's in my name itself <laughs> imagining the results so and truly humble and for me UHP has given me a second life yeah thank really, you so I think the, yeah. the exploration always does uh, you know work yes. slowly on us and yes. then that gradual change happens that's how it is meant to happen not that we yes. have to control ourselves but just you go in the flow so I think yeah. you're a wonderful example of that and of course and one percent I used to defend myself in the past for anything I do is it right <laughs> or wrong Right, because I never got it. But this has very. Really, that's why listening to morning meetings, I uh, I feel uh, you know is is the secret of uh, adoption of UHP. It's not, it's, of course, other meetings are there, but this silently works on us. That's what I felt, and it does not disp displace any of our beliefs or actions. You know, I still do prayers. I still believe. I do remember, if you remember the first time I opened with Ramakrishna's quotation and all, mm -hmm. those whom I still follow. But now I feel this is agnostic of whatever we believe in. So it gives its own energy. And it's energy of Sumi. Yes, I'm very emotional. I'm sorry, I don't want to waste time. <laughs> yeah. All the very best. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. They're all learning from each other. Yes, 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 yes absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.